Did you ever wonder if there's anything more to the human than this physical body that we have? Well, it's real interesting because if we go back in history, they talk about something called spirit and energy and an invisible force that seems to be controlling who and what we really are. Quantum physics emphasizes that the universe is not really split into two realms, a material realm and an energetic realm. Quantum physics reveals that everything is made out of energy. What we perceive as matter, it's actually an illusion of energy and light, that there is nothing physical. You know, what do you mean? I say, well, first of all, a very simple fact. When physicists started to take the atom apart and find there were things inside, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, then they say, yeah, but what are those things made out of? Then they got down to smaller things like quarks, and then I say, yeah, but what were they made out of? And ultimately, what physicists recognized was at the fundamental core of an atom, there is nothing material at all. It's an energy vortex. It's a powerful energy field. And that all atoms are these energy fields. And the significance about that is, well, atoms make up humans. And so by definition, we perceive ourselves as physical structures, but according to quantum physics, we're energy vortices. Imagine a cell as a television set and that the environmental signal, like a broadcast, is being picked up by the antennas on that television set. And therefore, the cell responds to that broadcast. Well, guess what? Everyone has a different set of antennas, so by definition, everyone is receiving a different broadcast field. Field, yeah, that's what physicists refer to as the energy in which we live. So all of us are in a field, but each one of us actually receives a very precise and specific part of that field different than everybody else. No two people share the same self-receptors. That's why we just can't exchange cells, organs, and tissues with each other. Now comes an interesting part. If the cell is like a television receiving a broadcast, then consider this. What happens if you're watching your TV and it breaks? We say the TV's dead. I go, yeah. But now the question is this, yes, the TV just died, but is the broadcast still there that I was watching? The answer, of course it's still there. The television's gone, the broadcast is present. I say, how would you know? Well, one way of knowing, get another TV set, plug it in, turn it on, and tune it to the right station and the show is back on air. Well, this would apply directly to humans as well. I have an identity due to a set of receptors receiving an environmental signal. If I die, I have no more reception, and therefore my broadcast exists, but there's no TV to express it. If an embryo shows up in the future with the same set of self-receptors that I have, well then guess what? I'm back online in a different TV. Does it have to be a male or female TV? Nope, that's the TV. Well, how about, is it black, white, brown, red, yellow? No, that's the TV. That's not who you are. You are the broadcast. And lastly, it's important to note that the character that you express in this life is actually sent back to your source because your brain is not keeping your consciousness in your head because magnetoencephalographs, unlike electroencephalographs, magnetoencephalographs read your brain function, but the probes don't even touch your head. A very important concept right here. Your thoughts are not contained in your head. They're broadcast into the field. And as Einstein emphasized, the field is the sole governing agency of the particle, matter. And then we put all of this together and says, your biology is an expression of this matter, but it's actually shaped by the field a field that exists whether you're here or not. And then all of a sudden, the ancient story of spirituality now conforms to the modern day science of quantum physics. You're a field, you're a spirit, you're more than this. And when you understand that, it is the first step toward your personal empowerment. Yeah.